All right, now Hezbollah has claimed that the group was in a new phase of its battle against Israel. This is both the Israeli Defense Minister and Chief of the Israeli Defense Force said that actions against Hezbollah will continue until residents of northern Israel can return to their homes. We have a goal, ensuring the safe return of Israel's northern communities to their homes. And to do so, we will take all the necessary measures to achieve it. The sequence of actions serves the goals that we have set. We will continue using all means at our disposal in order to achieve our goals. Galand also said that the past week has been the most difficult in the history of Hezbollah's existence, especially the past day. And he was referring to Hezbollah launching over 100 rockets into northern Israel early on Sunday. The rocket barrage overnight sent thousands of people scrambling into shelters. According to the Israeli military, rockets had been fired towards civilian areas, pointing to a possible escalation. This was in response to ramped up Israeli attacks that killed at least 45 people, including one of Hezbollah's top leaders. Thousands of Hezbollah supporters attended the funeral of one of the group's commanders, who was killed in the Israeli airstrike in southern Beirut. Meanwhile, as Israel and Lebanon continue to engage in crossfire, U.S. President Joe Biden has said Washington plans to do everything possible to keep a wider war from breaking out in West Asia. Biden says they're still pushing hard, but Hezbollah has vowed that it would keep fighting Israel until it agrees to a ceasefire in its war against Hamas in Gaza. Egypt's foreign minister has reiterated the risk of an all-out war, saying the escalation was negatively impacting a Gaza true steel. He said that the latest spike in violence had negatively affected ceasefire negotiations in Gaza, which are being mediated by Cairo. But even as the warnings continue, Israel's army chief is yet again vowed to hit anyone who threatens Israelis. Herzeh Halevi has said in a video statement that their ongoing operation against Hezbollah is a message to the country's foes in the region and beyond. 